Hey everyone, Mui here. I'm here to show you guys how to build mechs for patch 21.3. The most common builds involving mechs revolve around Deflectobot, Omega Buster, or Holy Mechery. Now, almost every mech build is going to want Deflectobot due to its various synergies with the rest of the cards in the tribe. But what we're going to focus on today is builds with Omega Buster and Holy Mackerel as the win conditions. Before we look at those endgame builds, you should know what your mech build should look like on the way. So generally, you're going to usually have one, two Deflecto bots, maybe a Micro Mummy to give it the reset, maybe a Pup Bot, but you should usually have Replicating Menace and Annoia Module. Of course, also a Mana Tooth Leaper to give everybody an AoE attack buff. Now, mechs have the unique ability of Magnetic. Replicating Menace and Anoya Module have Magnetic, which means that you can put Replicating Menace inside, for example, Pop Pot, and it will have the stats that Replicating Menace has, as well as the Death Rattle to summon 311 Microbots. Anoya Module will give anything it magnetizes to, Divine Shield and Taunt. When you start out with the Mechorol build, usually you want to have Mechorol and you pick Mechorol is when you have cards like Deflectobot ready, or if you don't have Deflectobot, you can always substitute it with cards like Pupbot or Annoia Module. Now, when you have the build ready, you need to look out for cards such as Greasebot or Gem Splitter. These cards are going to give the extra stats that Mechroll needs to scale into the late game. Now I have here footage of an endgame build that uses Holy Mechroll. As you can see, there's two Deflectobots, a Golden Grease Bot, and a Holy Mechroll with Replicating Menace and Annoia Module. Now you want to end the build with as much Divine Shield as possible, so you got a Pup Bot and another Holy Mechroll. You can see. My opponent is running all their minions at my Holy Mechroll, allowing me to win this fight. Now, what if you don't have the time to create scaling from Grease Bot and Metal Tooth Leaper? That leads me to the Omega Buster build. There are two ways you could do the Omega Buster build, and the traditional way is to utilize cards like Baron Rivendare or Kangaroo's Apprentice. You use Death Rattle support to make up for the lack of scaling on your mechs. So for example, I have footage of an endgame Omega Buster build. We have a Baron Rivendare. We have mechs. And as you can tell, these mechs are not buffed by things like Melotooth Leaper or Grease Blood. However, despite that, with the power of a Golden Baron Rivendare and Omega Buster's ability, we manage to have more stats than our opponent does. Now, another way to build Omega Buster is through Monstrous Macaw when these are available. Usually I like to do this when Kangor's Apprentice can be found and I haven't used a single Replicating Menace yet. You as a player have to figure out when you still have to start making substitutions. Sometimes you can't find Grease Spot for example, and you have to use cards like Arm of the Empire as a substitute way to scale your minions. As you can see, despite the fact that Monster's Macaw itself is not a mech, I still manage to get more stats on my opponent due to its effect and synergy with death battles. Alright, that was a video on mech builds. I hope you all learned something. Please like and subscribe, check out my Twitch, check out my Twitter. I do coaching, so if you're interested in that, I got a Metafy too. Hope to see you all in the future, and thank you guys for watching my video.